Joining us now is Khalid Sheikh from Britain's Clifton Packaging Company. Khalid, can you tell us about your movement Buy Africa, Build Africa? I think, uh, first of all, I'm, I'm, I'm really deep honoured to be taking part in this uh, uh, gathering. We have set up in England an organisation called BABA, which is Buy African, Build Africa, Love Africa Like You Love Your Mother. It is a brand. It is going to be the future brand of fair trade where the Africans are actually from grassroots, right from the farm, till the product lands in the supermarket. It is, you know, they are part of the whole system. Currently, we're, uh, we're implementing a project in Kenya, which is agro-food processing and packaging. Now, this is where the problem is in Africa. Africa doesn't need skyscrapers. Africa needs the agricultural produce to be, the produce to be turned into value-added products. But what is happening, is all the raw materials are being taken to the Western world and they are being processed in the West. So Africa today is poorer than it was 20 years ago. In fact, it is exactly where I left it 35 years ago. But if you, if you look at the statistics, everybody's talking, we've got a growth rate of 5%, 7%, 8%. Please go and ask the African mother. She'll tell you that her children have not had food for five days. And this uh, project which we are currently implementing in Kenya is to take agricultural products from the farm, process them, package them in world-class packaging which we produce in the Western world. So I'm trying to educate the Africans, look, I don't want to take your raw materials. I want to bring my knowledge, I want to bring my machinery, my expertise, and my world-class packaging into your country. You process the products and you pack them and you create employment and wealth for your own people. What needs to be done is they need to implement knowledge transfer programs, they need to uh, 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 take on board value addition uh, programs which are, which are led by private entrepreneurs. Governments do not have solutions to the plight of the Africans. I'm a born African, I was born in Kenya, just like another African Kenyan who is heading to become the most powerful guy in the world. So I want to be at the forefront of changing uh, this concept where the Africans can actually be uh, par par part of the whole supply chain and they can get a fair price for their products.